Good morning, Brenda here with Nana Sid and Apron. Um, years ago, probably at one point or other, everybody, if you've if you've had a job and you were you were young, you were probably you you worked in some kind of uh, fast food or the food industry, the food you know serving industry. Um, I did for five years. I was a biscuit maker, so I thought I'd try my hand at it again. They're not going to be these are not going to be keto. I'm going to have two different ones. I'm going to have one that's the regular made with uh, flour, and the other one, um, which I'll do next, will be the keto uh, version of it. But uh, I've already, to save time, once again, I've already got some stuff pre measured. Um, I have all purpose flour in it, I have uh, two cups of that, I have a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. A full tablespoon of bacon powder, a teaspoon of sea salt. You can use any kind of salt you want. I like using sea salt. Now you might see vinegar sitting back there. The reason for the vinegar is that uh, we don't uh, we don't drink buttermilk here, but this is a buttermilk type biscuit. And in order to get the buttermilk, uh, if you don't have any on hand, what you would do is you take a cup of milk and then you add a teaspoon of uh it's right there you add a teaspoon of the vinegar and it, it curls the milk which kind of gives it the buttermilk thing happening but also i've got um five tablespoons of butter that's cold butter and we're going to cut it in you can if you've got one of these you can use it if not uh, a fork works fine <laughs> and so does your hands just saying just make sure your hands are clean that's the big thing but I'm, I've already got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. And uh, I have my pan ready. I've got parchment paper on it, actually. And I, I sprayed it with a little bit of nonstick. But what I'm going to do is I've already got my two cups of flour mixed in here. Along with the sea salt, the baking powder, and the baking soda. And I'm just going to whisk it up. to get it mixed in together. All that in there. Yeah, you notice I have on my apron. Did y'all notice that? Apron. <laughs> because I know I'm gonna make a mess with this, so. Best thing to do. To try to protect your clothes. Almost gave me a little sip of coffee. There we go. Damn. Now, the butter. I've only used this pastry cutter a couple times. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep using it or not. It depends on how it behaves for me this time. So, what you do, you know, if you've got a pastry cutter, then you know, you know how to use it. We're going to cut that in until... It gets, yep, saw that, did you? <laughs> Poof, out it went. Until it gets about piece size. Ugh, I don't know. I saw people have all kinds of luck with this. That's why I've had this thing for years, and that's why I've only used it once before. Because I didn't have any luck with it. Maybe somebody that's watching this has a tip for me. If so, I would appreciate it. So, we are just going to go with these, these, these. You just squeeze it, or you can pinch them, pinch it like that. If you want to get it worked all through the flour, it takes a few minutes, so just be patient about it. We'll, uh... We'll pause you guys, and then when you come back, I'll have it done. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. Unless you really like watching, <laughs> watching me pinch this butter. 
I know, you're learning. It's a learning experience. Now, mind you, I haven't made these in years. Tom and I have been married for going on 10 years, and I don't think I've ever made them for him. Have I? No, you haven't. <laughs> He's sitting over there editing, y'all. Sorry. My hand, as you can see, I can't turn it around there for you to see his little mug. But, <laughs> but he's over there working. I know. Work, work, work. It's all right. Idle hands. We don't want that. You. Our worship was canceled today, the drive-in worship that we do because of all the rain so we'll watch our our service this evening on video actually they'll do a Facebook live but that's how we'll watch that so we'll get our worship on this afternoon or evening most likely I know just in case just in case he decided to leave this footage in, I'm rambling on to you guys, letting you know what's happening throughout our day. And I mentioned in my uh, bread vlog that I made yesterday about our 500 subscribers and how happy I am about that and how much I appreciate everybody. Um, and since I'm on that subject, if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will. And uh, if you click the notification bell, you'll get, uh, you'll know whenever I put new content on. And please click the like button, share it with your family and friends. Let them know that I'm out here. Give me a big old thumbs up, because it will surely help me out. All right, now, you see how that is? It's just, just little pieces. You don't want nothing huge. Because this is going to end up all throughout your dough. Okay? So you don't want a big chunk of butter that ends up in one biscuit that makes it just spread out all over the place. Alright. Now. Since my hands are already dirty, we're just going to leave them that way. Well, they're not dirty. <laughs> they have flour on them. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to scoot this over out of the way. Pull this down here so y'all can see what I'm doing. This is the white vinegar. It's a teaspoon of white vinegar that I'm going to pour into that. And I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute or so. And, um, to, just to give it time to start working. You can already see the separation happening here. Can you all see that? I don't know if you can or not. Uh, I hope you can. <laughs> Let's see here. You know, I've got a dishcloth laying over here that I'll just wrap around my hand. Can you see that separation happening uh, here? That's that's what's going on. It's making buttermilk for us. For these good old biscuits. Alright. Now, some people say this doesn't matter. Like I said, I made these for five years, so there had to be some reason for it. Make you a little well. You're going to pour part of this into the well. Yeah, see how that thickened up there? See, chunky chunk. I know, gross looking, but it's good. But you pour that into the well, then the rest of it out around it. And then you can, you can, you know, you can, I just didn't want to get my big mixer out. You can use it to, to do this if you want to. But see, we're just, we're just working this dough easy. We don't want to work it too hard. I think I'm splattering stuff everywhere. Didn't even realize it. I've also got me some flour over there uh, reserved because I'm going to put it on the countertop here. Because we're going to roll these biscuits out. We're going to roll these babies out. Get that mixed in there real good. You don't want to overwork your dough, but you don't want to leave any dry on there either. All right. Yeah, let's get that off of there. Again, there's really no need in me washing my hands because I'm just going to get them right back in here. So, 
I've got my biscuit cutter ready. Oh, you know what I didn't get? I like to use, we've got a couple of the uh, sewing measures. And you can actually use those. Hey, hon, could you come here just a minute, please? And yes. I'm going to need some more flour. <laughs> so that I can sprinkle some on the top. If you could just take that. <laughs> I know. That's the problem. I can't. If you could just take this for me okay. and scoop me some of it. Don't 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 put it out or anything. Just scoop me some of it and set it here so I'll have it to sprinkle on the top. I would appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Master Chef at work. <laughs> Artisan Baker. What can I say? I even get this stuff on my hands. Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And my shirt. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I got y'all. Yeah, I got y'all there. We see what I'm doing, don't I? I hope. I do. You know, just, just don't overhandle it. That's a big part of it. You just don't want to overhandle your dough. And I'm going to work this in with my fingers just a wee bit. But I'm gonna get this out of my way first. In the sink, ha, how'd you know? All right. Yep. Sprinkle just a wee bit of that on there and some on my fingers. Now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna tap it down. Tap it down. I'm not, I'm not doing that hard. Not using a lot of force or nothing like that. Can y'all see okay? There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to tap this down. And we're going to roll it in. Roll each side in. Like that. And we're going to roll it down towards us. Now we're going to roll it out. Yeah. Gently push it down. Don't go overboard with it. Now, you actually want to get this to, to where it's like a quarter inch, quarter inch uh, thick. And you know, back years ago when I made these at home, my, like I was saying, if you're familiar with, with sewing kits, they come with a, a seam measure and you could actually adjust that to a quarter inch and then you got your dough measure guide. But I forgot to get it. We've got a couple of them here. And it's okay, because cause I'll just guess it myself. We'll, we'll just guess it about a quarter inch. Now, when you do this, you, you want that to just roll off the edge, okay? Don't push. You're just, you're just letting the pin, the rolling pin, do its thing. I've got a bigger rolling pin. I choose to use this one. I probably should have got the bigger one out because I love to spin it off of it. <laughs> but just, you know, if you don't have a measure, just eyeball it. You should get 10 to 12 biscuits out of this. Now, once we cut these out, we're going to go right back and do the same thing with the remainder of the dough. You can use it one more time and still get the rise that it needs. I think that's about good right there. Just push it down a little bit and get it even. Now I'm also going to, uh, I haven't done this part of it yet, I needed to. i um, going to melt some butter. See, here's my pan. I've got my pan ready. Going to melt some butter and uh, get it. Ready to put on the top so the biscuits. When you push down on it, don't roll it around. Just push it down, bring it right back up. Get it as close as you can to the other biscuit. And to the edge. You don't want to twist it and roll it around because it won't rise the way you need it to if you do that. 
Yeah, you learn a lot of things making those biscuits for five years. Besides the fact that they really are homemade and they are good. It's been probably a good 35 years since I worked there. <laughs> Maybe even longer. Let's see if I can get close enough. Close enough for non-government work. All right. Now, when you put these on, just make it like a T. That way it balances out the baking for you. While they're baking on the pan, it balances out the heat better. Again, that's something I learned many years ago. Don't let them touch. There's no reason for them to touch. You want them to bake good all the way around. This one, the jacked up just a little bit on the end there. Hmm. It's all right though. We got it. We're good. Pretty, ain't they? Hopefully they'll be nice and golden brown and flaky and all that stuff when I get done. Yeah. That's what that's going to look like. Now I'm going to bring you back over here so you can watch me uh, work on this a little bit more. And, you know, don't grab it and squish it together. Just gently fold it in. Again, you're going to make sure you, your hands are floured up. I got y'all over here far enough? Yeah. Let me bring it over toward you a little bit. There we go. We're just going to poke it around some. Make it stick together. And typically you would add this to another batch of uh, dough, biscuit dough if you need it, if you were gonna make more, but I'm not, so this will be more than enough for Tom and I for several days. And they keep well, you know, just put them in an airtight container. And then you can heat them up a little bit in the microwave. Don't take just a few seconds to heat them up. Or, you know, if you want to try it in your toaster, go ahead. I don't really know how to do that part of it, but but if it's, if it's what you have to use, then that's what you have to use. Cut some more of them up. Love my little cutters here. I've got all different sizes, and you can, I've got them that you can make donuts with it. Cut the holes out and you get your donut holes too. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. Look at that. Isn't that just pretty? It's fluffy. I'm going to have one biscuit more than my pan will hold. <laughs> we'll get down there. Don't worry about that. We ain't about wasting here, huh? No. We ain't about wasting nothing. All right. Now, I could actually take this and make one more. It's not going to be pretty, but, but we'll have one more that, again, we're not going to be wasting. Just barely working that dough. Try to get it, try to get it mashed out there to where I need it. There we go. I know it's taking forever, y'all. I'm sorry. Master Biscuit Maker here. It takes a minute, okay? <laughs> but we know I ain't that. <laughs> but, there's that part. Let me wash my hands right quick. We'll just, y'all, hang on. Like I said, I've got the uh, oven preheated to 350 degrees. I just got dough all over the <laughs> all over the place. Oops. Look at there. Now, let's get this in there and we're gonna let them we're gonna let them bake for I don't know, 15 to 17 minutes. We'll check them, we'll check them probably about 13 to 15 minutes. There we go. I'm gonna clean up my mess and be right back. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> 
You get my towel ready here. I actually have had these in for. Get back, Mister. You little <laughs> buddy. My little buddy. My little cooking buddy there. Letting me know these biscuits are ready to come out. They didn't rise very good. Not sure what happened there because I sure didn't handle that dough too much. But they're pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty. Mmm. They smell great. Now, while they're still hot, we want to get you set up here is what I want to do first without melting anything other than the butter on these biscuits. We'll get Tom to give one a try in a minute. I, I melted my butter and now I'm gonna splash it on there. Just, just give it a good, real good once over with that butter. It is very important that you do that. If you don't melt enough, go back and melt some more. Only takes a minute, right? Well, actually 20 seconds, but if you're using the microwave, it only takes 20 seconds. If even that long. But, now, you can also make these as cinnamon raisin. You take the same recipe, which I'm going to, uh, I'll have this on my Facebook page at Nana's Hidden Apron as well. But, uh, you take the same recipe for this uh, for these biscuits, you add some cinnamon to it and some raisins. You can add whichever raisins you like. You could even put the craisins in there if you want to. Makes a yummy, yummy biscuit now. Biscuit, uh, cinnamon raisin biscuit. They're awesome. I told y'all. The thing about it is they're, you know, this, this was kind of a guess on everything because obviously they're, uh, rising agents come in a packet and it don't say on there what they are. <laughs> so you just kind of guess at it. But when Tom gets back in here, we'll see if he'll give one of these a try. He'll probably want some jelly on it or something. I don't know. Just pour the rest of that on them biscuits. Yeah, I'm going to have to melt some more here in a minute, so... Or the next ones. The next one's coming up, which is over there. And that, that's going to be the keto version <laughs> of this. There you go. Sit right there just a second. See if I can't pick one of them up there and let you see. How about that? Mm -hmm. It's still thick enough for a piece of sausage or a couple slices of bacon with egg and a top with some cheese on it. And it's definitely thick enough for some sugar-free jelly. <laughs> Which, oh gee, I just so happen to have some here. <laughs> sugar-free. Pop that open. Get a fork. I'll take this one that I've been rolling around all over the place. Just be gentle with it. You don't have to squeeze it or nothing like that. Now, get us a little bit of these sugar-free strawberry preserves out. Spread that out on there. <laughs> Y'all know I'm gonna go ahead and taste this, right? <laughs> I'm back in here in just a minute and I'll be like, um, you wanna try a biscuit with some jelly on it? It's hot. <laughs> Mmm, -hmm. there's a happy dance. <laughs> that is so good. Mmm, -hmm. I think he's gonna have to get his own. I think 
Ya. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yep, I did. I ate the whole thing. And now, you know, you can put you some butter in the middle of that too if you want it. No, no, just put some <laughs> strawberry stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Loves me some strawberry stuff. <laughs> strawberry stuff. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's jelly or jam or preserves or I just call it strawberry stuff. We won't tell him that it actually says it on the jar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. I don't read the instructions or the directions. Come on. True me. Let's see what he thinks. <laughs> Other than making a mess, there's a couple of towels laying around. I think I'm going to eat more than one of these. That's what I think. Oh. Lunchtime dessert. Mm -hmm. It's good, yeah? Isn't that good? Uh-oh. The goosebumps are here. Woohoo! <laughs> His stomach was growling saying, hurry up and give me another bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's got a good flavor to it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, think, I think some more baking soda the next batch so that they'll go ahead and rise more. I think. I think some I more think butter for really the next good. batch. Yeah, <laughs> some more butter for the next batch, or at least that's what I eat anyway. Some more butter. <laughs> <laughs> All <Thank> right, y'all. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, this. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and get this put away. I gotta let this cool down, and then uh, and then we'll start on the the next ones over here, which will be a separate vlog. So you'll have to stay tuned and catch it later on in the week. Y'all take care for now. Um, remember, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Like it. Share it. Subscribe. <laughs> Ring the bell. Dinga, dinga, dinga. Okay. I'm going to get my mess finished cleaning up. I got a bunch of dishes over here that I got to put up. So, and I'm hot too. So, I got to cool down. Hello. And uh, get my mess cleaned up, and then I'll get started on the next ones, and y'all can join me again. So, until then, bye.